Hello everybody. Um, I will make the today video uh, on my balcony. I will paint it outside. It's uh, not always possible in Switzerland. Normally is the weather cold, so I'll, I do the work uh, on my workshop. But uh, today it's possible and I uh, just took the, the bed that I showed you yesterday uh, on my balcony. I finished this, the cleaning. The cleaning was really, um, really uh, hard work, but uh, now uh, the furniture are really, really, really clean. It cannot be cleaner. And I will just put you there and show you the part, uh, all the parts. They are ready, ready to paint. This is the big one. Here come the picture. Then we have uh, the sides here just here and then we have uh, this, this part is the part behind and um, yes I'm going to make the primer today it's like the isolation uh, the, the part that I explained yesterday I will do it with boss from Dixie Bell just to be sure that the, the wood will not bleed through and uh, we will see if I can make only one coat or maybe it will be uh, necessary to make more. But I will just start and let uh, and let's see how it will be. I just um, get many me uh, messages from people uh, which uh, ask me to do or to show the work slowlier because normally my tutorials are speak tutorials so it's very fun to watch but uh, if somebody want to learn from it it's quite uh, impossible hard for them so i will do every day a part in a slow um slow video like uh, for the boring stuff i will make it quick but just explaining from the beginning what i'm what i'm doing so as i said yesterday i cleaned it a uh, third time already and uh, now i can be sure it's clean but if it's bleeding through, if uh, the wood bleeding from itself, so I have to make this blocker. I have to make this boss um, blocker, isolation, primer, whatever uh, you call it. And uh, this is the part I'm going to do today. Uh, with, with this uh, material, it's not so nice to paint with. It's not like a paint, like it smears really nicely. So uh, it's... Um, have uh, you have to get a lot of patience doing this one and normally it's the issue of the brush I will show you the issue of the brush because for one time one side we don't want to destroy our best brushes uh, uh, with uh, with this material because it's not paint it's uh, it stick uh, on the brush and you cannot uh, get the brush so nice anymore even if you clean it and make try to get it nicely so the brush will probably will not be the same like before and from the other side we want a good brush because if we have a bad brush it make it more hard to uh, to smear it or to, to 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 paint it to apply it on the wood so this is always the issue which brush i'm uh, i want to to destroy with this material uh, and uh, but still uh, can uh, can work with it easily you know this is a, a issue you have to go through i uh, normally take the cheaper brushes some cheaper brushes are really good quality even they don't cost much so much and uh, this is something you will have to 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 feel to feel to try and to feel it okay so i have choose now this one sometimes something i buy in uh, bow and hobby and uh, let's see i will start if it will go good so because i have a lot of of parts to do now with the boss from dixie bell okay so uh, let's start I will start with this part behind me because this is the one I want to have ready. Uh, as uh, here I will work with the picture and all this the blending and everything. 
um, to say the the parts of the bed now they are very clean I'm sure you cannot get cleaner uh, but the material I showed you yesterday to, to that I use um, like the white lightener or the kitchen stuff um, it's something we just recommend if you really want to paint the furniture it's like I will never recommend these materials to clean your furniture if you want to keep it as wood as it is and just want to clean it up so this is not the right materials for it uh, this is only really if you want to uh, to flip the furniture to paint it to make something new of it okay it will definitely um, not um, destroy the value of the antique uh, furniture and if you want to keep it as wood as it is so this is very important to know and before I start I'll show you my wonderful view you see this is the view where I live in uh, this is our balcony and from here you just go to the kitchen you see and the other side I will show you later and uh, I will start now, okay? Good. As you can see, I just started to paint and it's already uh, become yellow, which means that's the wood bleeding. And I will probably need to make it two, two coats or maybe three, let's see. But uh, this is the way it looks like right now. So always have also a bottle of water because uh, these materials is sticky and you can make it lighter to uh, with uh, with the uh, to work with the brush uh, not too much not too much water because uh, we don't want uh, to destroy the work of this uh, of this um, material <laughs> So if you need a break, take it. Take your break and uh, continue when you are ready, but always keep your br brushes in a in a plastic sack uh, with a little water that it will not dry because it's uh, worse than normal paint. It's dry very quick and then is uh, are the brushes um, you cannot use it anymore. So I'll take my break and so I did a short break of the three pieces and uh, didn't forget to keep my brushes in a plastic sack because it's dry very quick and then you cannot use it again. And we will continue with the last piece. Uh, it's only one side of each piece, okay? Still a lot to do. Oh, 
feras-tu Tu as mis à l'index Nos nuits blanches Nos matins gris bleus Mais pour moi une ex Application vaudrait mieux Sous aucun prétexte So it's done uh, each side one time, one coat, uh, and as you can see, some parts of of this uh, surface um, is still uh, or it's become uh, yellow. Not everywhere, but somewhere, some parts. And I will have to uh, to paint it again. Yoo <laughs> Yeah, it was like uh, three hours, maybe a little more. I didn't check, but uh, three hours outside. It's dry really quick. It was a little hot, but uh, but it's okay. It's fresh air. I just think I have this pollen allergy, so my eyes are. I have tears in my eyes, my eyes, as my nose. So um, it, I don't know, um, it's still very beautiful to work outside and to have the fresh air. So I will have to continue uh, to make another coat, not all over on the sides. It looks like it's white, it stay, it, it stay white. I um, wanted to show you like for one bed, if I can open it, I will probably need the whole box it was a new one so i wanted to show you this is what i have left from uh, a completely new uh, boss from dixie bell so if you are going to make a bed in this size you will probably have to uh, you will use the whole box and yes so it's like three hours one box of of uh, primer and um, it's not done it's not done. It, it's not the, the the fun part of the of the work because uh, yes, the fun part will start soon. But uh, we need to do it. So I will finish um, and do another coat. I hope it will not take another three hours. But uh, yes, uh, it's have to be done, and I'm going to do it now. So I turn this one and I start to uh, to make the second coat but uh, as I watch it again I just see that it's not necessary this part is uh, not become uh, yellow after the first coat so this is not the paint this is just uh, to stop bleeding and uh, you can you can watch your um, furniture and you can see that some part will come uh, will become yellow and some of them uh, doesn't sometimes it's the wood or the word art or uh, however you don't need to make a second coat coat if the white uh, if the first coat stay white okay so in this case i needed to make a second coat and this one also from the other side i did the second coat but uh, this side is not necessary so it just to say uh, take a look before you do the second coat sometimes it's necessary sometimes it's not okay so this was the un unfun part of uh, of doing uh, yes just taking care that from the very beginning the work is uh, uh, made uh, correctly because it will make your uh, life easier in the next step and uh, the first codes are mo the most important you cannot um, 
you cannot uh, continue uh, painting nice if the first coats are not nicely okay so this was uh, yeah the last unhappy or unfun part for this project so we will continue with the next um, video with the uh, peace prints uh, peace print self selective overlay we will uh, apply it on it and then start the fun okay good i hope uh, you learned something or maybe even uh, not it was not such an interesting video anyway i will see you soon bye bye